Hi everybody, Happy New Year. It's a new year, it's a new beginning and new sewing tutorials. This is Hannah Tiger and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed guys, consider subscribing. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a pyjama set for kids. Very easy, non-complicated and let's get started. I'll be making this set for ages 5 to 7. I was able to get 2 meters of fabric and the width of this fabric is 60 inches. So I got 2 meters. You might not need up to 2 meters guys. You might need just a meter and a half. But I got 2 meters because I'm going to make 2 pants and a top. That's why I got the 2 meters. I'm making two pants and a top, yeah, for ages five to seven. So as you can see, the fabric is patterned. It's got like a floral look to it. So you want to work according to the pattern of the fabric if you're buying a patterned one like mine. So this pant is not going to have a pocket and a side seam. I'm just going to place the pant on the fabric on the place on fold. You need to watch my video guys if you haven't on how to make a palazzo pant. So this will explain this what I'm doing to you as there was no side seam on that pant and I'm doing the same for this. This is a DIY video guys. So if you have any pants you want to use as your pattern go ahead and use it. So I'm adding half an inch here round the crotch line and the inseam i'll be adding half an inch allowance and all the way up there because i'll be adding two inches to the waistline in a minute i want to go ahead and keep my half an inch all the way down but one thing there guys i'm gonna open up the ankle area a bit so that might be a bit like one and a half inches there instead of one inch because I'm not adding any band. So I'm keeping the hankula area open. So that will be one and a half round there. So I'm adding one inch at the hemline. One inch at the hemline. Because I want this pant a bit longer than what it is. Also I'm adding two inches on the waistline. Guys, I'm not going to be having... A band on the handle of the pants so I am cutting straight away so you want to take your zigzag scissors if you've got one like this and just cut because the zigzag is gonna pattern all the edges so I don't need to overlock the fabric guys I don't need to overlock it because it's already done the work for me so I'm using a fabric that doesn't frail. Guys, you want to use a fabric that doesn't frail. So this is fleece in, it's called polar fleece. It doesn't frail, guys. So you can easily use your zigzag scissors and it's going to make it patterned. No need to overlock the hedges. Like I said, I'm not going to be cutting a front panel or a back panel with this. It's just going to be a case of a right panel and a left panel. Right and left, you know, leg panel. So I'm going to use the one I've cut before uh, to cut the other leg by placing it on this. You want to get the fabric right. Make sure the pattern aligns properly with the first leg. Check very well so you're not out of order. And once you've correctly placed that, you can go ahead and cut using your scissors again. So guys, like I said, I'm not going to be overlocking the hedges. You can use any fleece flannel or any polyester fabric for this project and if you have a nice satin fabric you can use it as well 
So if you apply such a scissors like that, it will work very well. The edges of your fabric will come out absolutely fabulous, guys. So make sure you use the right fabric and you can apply the zigzag scissors. So go ahead and cut it out. I'm not going to be having a band at the ankle of the span, so it's going to stay the way it is. Compared to the one I used, you know, the pant I used for cotton, this one is just a straight, you know, hand curled pant, no band attached. And once you've done that, guys, it's time to sew on the inseam. So you want to stitch each leg on its own around the inseam the right and the left leg by the inseam right and you're gonna start that by the point of intersection between the crotch line and the inseam line so we'll go ahead here guys and cut out the top of our pajamas I'll be cutting the back panel first before going ahead to cut the front panel so you want to place the top you want to use on the fabric with the place on fold on the side. You want to place your fabric on fold on the edge and place your top on it. With this top I'm adding 2 inches. As you can see I'm adding 2 inches because I want a bigger top than this. If I was using the exact fabric, you know, exact measurement, I wouldn't add anything to it. I would just cut it out. But because I want this top to be a bit bigger, you know, than the sample on the table, I'm going to be adding more inches to it. So you want to do that as well. If you need to increase the size of your top or your pants, like I've done. So here I'm adding two inches. To increase the size of the top and take note of where I've added the two inches so I'm gonna come to the top like that so this top has not got a separate sleeve I'm cutting the sleeve along with the top yeah so there's no separate sleeve I'm cutting it together so you want to place your top like that and do the same thing I'm doing so I'm tracing out the neck, the back neck of the top. So you want to trace out the back neck first. I want you to take note of the sleeve area that I've had it two inches to. I'm going to come back guys later and reduce that sleeve. So I'm adding two inches to the top. I want it a bit longer there. So it's two inches as well. So you want to connect all the markings together. And by the sleeve area, I'm going to be slanting that. I don't want it like straight, straight. So it's going to have a bit of a slant. From the two inches by the ham hole. So it's just going to slant out like that. Then you want to make that a bit curvy there. You want, don't want it to be too sharp. So draw out a curve and you're ready to cut your top. Using your scissors again, your zigzag, start cutting the way I'm cutting here. You have to be careful. I want you to take note of the pattern as well. For the back panel of this top, I'm not going with the floral as you can see with the back side of the top so i'm going plain more of a plain you know pattern than the floral so you want to continue to carefully cut your top paying key attentions to all your markings so by that sleeve area there, I've only added half an inch that will be stitching together all the way to the neck area.
once that is done you want to cut the front panel using that back panel guys so i'm gonna be working on the floral side of the i want the front panel to have the patterns So for my front panel guys I'll be taking two inches so I'm trying to mark out my front panel neck yeah so I'll be placing that back so I'm gonna be cutting it out the rest of the top before I go back and cut out the neck area of the top With this pattern guys, I'm not going to be stitching down the neck of the top. I'm just going to be leaving it as a zigzag, which you would see at the end of the video. So that's it guys. The back panel and the front panel all ready for stitching. So I will go ahead and start off with the pant. Like I explained before, you need to start off by stitching down the inseam all the way to the hemline. As you can see the zigzag on the hedges, you don't need to overlock like I said, the hedges. So what I'm doing is just stitching half an inch all the way down. Then I went ahead and stitched down the other leg of the pants as well. Then the next stage will be the crotch line. Once that is done, you need to turn it over to the right side of the fabric before connecting your crotch line together. What I like doing is when I need to sew the crotch line, I like stitching it from the point of intersection, that point guys, between the inseam and the crotch and sew along on one side first, on one side like that. From that point, I just stitch down, you know, and sew one side then later I go back and complete the other side unlike the way I'm doing things here guys I'm just sewing along you can apply pins to help you you know so easily if you can't sew the way I so in here guys you can apply pins first you know by marking out the allowance you know the sewing allowance you know before you stitch it down but here i'm just sewing along after completing that side i want to go back to the point of intersection at the midpoint where they all connect and go back and stitch down the other side of the pant. I find it easier like that. Some people might find it, you know, hard or they do things different, but this is how I like stitching my down. If you think this is of any use, yeah, or any help to you, then you follow this pattern. So you wanna apply some notches just apply some notches 
it prevents the pans from folding underneath so that's about it guys make sure you remember to do that it's helpful so that's that done you want to go ahead now and take one hinge for your band you can take two inches whatever you've chosen for yours but I'm taking the one inch now you need to be certain guys that your elastic isn't wider than the band allowance so you want to check it against the band that's my elastic see it that would be all right you know for the one inch allowance so you want to cross check that before going ahead to stitch down your band because it's not easy you know when you need to unstitch so make sure you check that first and start sewing and I'm gonna be leaving an inch and a half opening on the band you know the waistline you need that little opening so you can insert your elastic so you need your safety pin like that apply your safety pin and push through all the way around make sure you don't lose grip of the other hand of the elastic so stitch that together guys and once you've done that close the one and a half inch opening with a few stitches as you can see the hemline is beautiful and is ready to wear like that but on this occasion guys um, with my I'm gonna be holding in an inch you know I'll be stitching in an inch yeah and do the same to both legs you can decide not to stitch if it's the size of the person that is gonna be wearing the pant but I've decided just to hold in an inch for the hemline you know of the pant before we move ahead to stitching down the top I want to show you another method of applying elastic you know to your pant the waistline so this is the second pant I'm making this is the second pant so you put in your elastic like that and fold that over your sewing allowance for the waistband you fold it over make sure you apply a safety pin to secure that then you fold it over and start stitching like I'm doing just watch what I'm doing guys and while you're doing that make just keep making sure you don't sew on the elastic make sure the gap is there you can feel it with your fingers keep feeling it with your fingers and as you sew along as you keep sewing along you can pull the elastic itself to give room for more stitches as you can see like I'm doing there guys if you see what I'm doing I'm pulling along as I'm stitching to make sure I don't lose grip of the elastic now I finished so I will stitch down both hands once you finish stitch down both hands and once you've done that guys just close up the opening so that's an alternative way of applying your elastic to your band guys very easy in fact this is so straightforward so here we have the top and ready to stitch it down I'm not gonna be stitching down the neck area or the wrist area you know all I need to do is to stitch down the shoulder up to the wrist and under there you see the ham hole down to the side of the top right there that's all we need guys over to your sewing machine and stitch all the stitchables that I've shown you and if you experience any fold along the hamhole area guys make sure you place notches 
a few notches will sort out any fold so you want to carry on till you complete the task and the top will be ready with your pants so here we have it I'm just placing uh, a few notches round the ham hole to prevent it from folding as you can see guys I haven't stitched down the neck area or the wrist I haven't done that because the zigzag I've applied on it is just enough and the top wouldn't frail so that's our top completed wow this looks amazing and stunning on this kid so you can make yourself one as well if you have a family or friend you can make it apart from a kid you can make for an adult as well make sure you share with me what you've made guys on my facebook page and instagram remember to subscribe like share with your friends and press that notification bell for more videos like this see you in my next video till then guys look after yourself and bye for now